how to turn on the laser and Alyssa has shown that you just turn it on with the key down below and then she pans up here there is a little lever up top that she's flipping over and then it just comes right out of the holster she undoes the arm from the clip at top and then we're going to come in a little bit closer here she is taking the weight of the laser and just sliding it back so that she can balance the armrest the arm of the laser to make sure it doesn't go up or down it is staying very level so that is how she does that with that and then tightens it then we are going to take the cutting wand handpiece and we're going to come a little closer for Alyssa she is holding it right here and the two pieces she's showing you just slip it in and you heard the click and then the blue is the laser um, connector, so it lets it know how which hand piece that we are using. And it just screws on as she's showing you. And now the blue piece does not get autoclaved, gassed, or anything due to the lens on the inside. Then she comes over here, and as you can see, it just connects and then screws on. And she's holding that silver piece because it will spin and it won't tighten, so you have to hold that silver piece on the arm and then hold the blue to um, tighten it up. Then we're gonna pan right over here to the screen and I'm gonna get a little closer so I can see the, all right. And so what Alyssa's doing is showing us how to turn on for the cutting wand hand piece. So you do the CW at the top and then all of our stuff is saved from a memory, which is memory open then one. And as you can see, it is eight watts. Now, for some reason, if it's not there, um, you just have to hit the plus sign to the right and it just move it up to whatever number he wants. Now, if he's in the middle of a surgery and he wants the power up or down, just like Alyssa showed, you either do the plus or the minus sign to get it to the number that he wants. And then when ready, as Alyssa's shown, you hit the ready button and that will allow the doctor to use the laser with the pedal. Then when you are done, you hit standby, and we are gonna show how to switch it over to the CPG hand piece, which is the resurfacing one. We come over here to the screen, and we hit the options tab at the very top, and then to the right over here, I don't know if we can see it really well, it says scanner pause, and then we hit the pause button, and then with that, uh, lets the machine to stay on and it doesn't screw anything up and then Melissa will come over to the cutting wand hand piece and again she is going to hold the silver and screw off from the blue and then the, uh, that should just stay level mm -hmm. and she comes over here we're just going to pan over and she's taking the hand pieces the black piece goes inside of the tan and then that laser hand piece um, never gets autoclave gas or anything, just gets wiped off. And then we'll go over the lens hand piece on how to clean it later. Um, it just slides right on. And then you can see the black piece is what screws and it holds those two pieces together onto the CPG um, handle. And Alyssa will come over again and come over here. And as she's showing you, you take the two, again, hold the silver on the arm, and just screw. Yep, you can just screw that piece right in. And once that's level, once that's on tightly, then she has up top here, we have, um, again, we're gonna level it out, just like she did. And you can kind of see here how it goes up, and she's just kind of Yep, and then we have on top here, we have taped by Velcro the cord that gets connected to the CPG handpiece and to the deep FX. And she's showing you where the red dot is. And you gotta look inside, there is a um, notch that it matches up to, and then just clicks right in. And then she takes the black cord, re Velcros it to the arm of the laser so that it does not get in the doctor's way during surgery make sure it's level. and make sure it's level again and then we come back to this screen here and you're going to hit the play button now where it says scanner pause and go up to ultra pulse 
and it takes a second sometimes. And again, this is a screen that you'll always see, but we always tell you to do memory, open one, and that will give you our standard settings for a CO2 resurfacing laser. Now up top there are some other buttons you can see lightly that say CO2 light, active FX, um, but we don't use those. Again, they are all pre-programmed and if you want to do CO2 light, we do memory open to. And those are our CO2 light settings. Now, if for some reason you just can't remember what they're supposed to look like or what they are or what memory um, they're supposed to be. On the side of our laser, we have a laminated paper that, is magnet, that has, has magnets on it, and it shows you, as you can see, for CO2 light, these are the settings that they're supposed to be. Our active FX, deep FX, standard settings, and then at the very bottom, it shows the scar FX. So th that is how to set a laser up. Now, the last thing that we are going to do is show how to switch it back from the CPG handpiece to the cutting wand in case he starts off with the laser and then we have to switch over to the cutting handpiece. So just like last time, we hit the options button and then we hit the pause button. And then, then we can, like I said, go back here. Alyssa's gonna show you. You first take off the adapter. Sometimes it's a little tricky, but make sure you're holding on to the handpiece and tape that up first because once you take the handpiece off, it, since that's so heavy, the weight will shoot that arm way up and we don't want to do that and let it hit the wall, the ceiling, cabinet, or anything like that. So then you take, like Alyssa's doing, just like you put it on, you take the silver piece and unscrew it from the handpiece. And once she gets that done, she's just going to hold on to that arm to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And um, then she's going to rebalance it and come on over and get the handpiece. I know it's a lot of work. <laughs> and then come back over here. And again, blue goes to silver. And you screw on with that. and all nice and tight yep. and then back over to the screen one last time press okay. the play cutting watt and then memory open one so that is how you change it and in a second we are going to go over how to do um, the deep fx handpiece and then lastly we will go over the pedal the last handpiece that we are going to go over is the Deep FX handpiece. As you can see here, on the handpiece itself, there is a plastic cover to protect it from, to protect the lens from anything scratching it, hitting it while it's in its case. So we just take that cover and just pull it off. There's two little clips on the edges. And then the adapter, to, it's a spacer and also helps protect the um, lens while it is being in use. So we are going to come over here just like we've been doing. And Alyssa's going to show you again that you just take the silver, connect it to the blue, screw it on really tight, because if it's not on tight, then it's not going to work properly or be registered to laser. And just like with the CPG handpiece, it is a little heavy, so you have to take the weight, balance it out, and once it's balanced, tighten it really tight. And then we take the adapter again, unvelcro it from the arm, bring it down, and then find, um, Alyssa will show us where it is. Red yep, dot. right at the top. And then red dot to red dot. And then we heard the laser register that is connected. Again, velcro the cord to the arm so that it does not get in the doctor's way or slide down into the field and give it, yep, and then we come back over here and then we press the play button so that it works. Surge touch, aesthetics, deep FX, and then just like all the others, once it's done, yep, memory, 
open and one. Now these are always the standard settings, not the exact ones. Sometimes things do change. Just like we went over before, the paper on the side of the laser will tell you what they're supposed to be in case for some reason these are not saved. And then when we're ready, just like we did with the eyelid procedure, we click the ready button. Um, it is, and you can see there's a stop hand and then it changes over to a light when it's ready. The cord is the last thing that we're going to go over. As you can see here, this is the pedal that he uses and then the cord that connects to the back of the machine. What we do not want is the cord twisted up. So Alyssa is showing you that you just make sure that it's nice and straight, not tangled up or anything. And then we leave it kind of wrapped up the remainder so it doesn't get rolled over by the wheels when we are moving the laser around. And that is how we use our CO2 laser luminous uh, machine. When you're all done, what we just do is just the key in the very front, you turn it to the left, and then the machine is turned off. The only thing that if there's an issue with it not turning on, I'm going to try to go back to the back of the machine, so just bear with me. At the very back here, at the very, very bottom, you can see this switch. It's an on-off switch and it's in the on position right now. If for some reason it does not turn on, you always want to double check that when it's being, after it's plugged in to make sure that it not accidentally get flipped to the off position. And I hope you guys learned something. If not, just let us know if there's any questions or concerns that we can answer or confused for you in this. My name is Jenny Jernigan and my assistant is Alyssa Coward. We appreciate you watching us today. Alyssa wants to say goodbye. See you later. <laughs>